It's impossible to separate the church and the man. When you say St. Hyacinth, you mean Father Skalski. As omnipresent in the parish and neighborhood as the church bell towers, and as much a part of Detroit St. Hyacinth has its brick and mortar. Great friend, confidant. And today, Father Francis Skalski was present for Mass one last time. He loved the people of St. Hyacinth because he was one of them. As a native-born from southwest Detroit, he wanted uh, to continue the Polish culture and tradition. And even as hard times hit the area, he fought to keep this church vital. His gift to us was to preserve and maintain our church. St. Hyacinth is one of the last Detroit Pulton churches to remain open. You know, tried very hard to keep the neighborhood together. He kept the school till the 1990. Uh, he was a very formidable person in this area. And preserving its beauty and heritage was Father Skolsky's life's work. It's a legacy for him. It wasn't always easy for the priest nicknamed the Bishop of Poltom, but it was always important for him to be part of his parishioners' lives. And he was everywhere you needed him to be. And even if they moved far away from the neighborhood, they could always come home. He loved people. He would always say, the people are good. The people are good to me. And that's because he was good. So on a Monday morning in October, the sanctuary was full of dignitaries. The choir loft was full of music. But probably more important for the Bishop of Poltown, the pews were full of people. And his church would be ready for Mass next Sunday once again. He baptized my children and buried my mother. So I had to say goodbye. John Shalino, Channel 7 Action News.